Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Today we're gonna be hanging out with little Nelly and helping her with her music career. So I think that's gonna be really fun. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. Um, if you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and hanging out with us. And let's go see how Nelly's doing. So if you guys remember in the last episode, Nelly moved to the city and she also, she got a job and she also moved into this apartment with a bunch of other entertainer girls. She is feeling uncomfortable and she is having an aggravating conversation. Is it with that girl with the black hair? Yeah, so apparently she's not the nicest girl of Lilith, even though she is very beautiful. And Nelly, if you remember, also broke it off with Gage. So that was really sad. I felt so bad for her, but at the same time, at the end of the day, Nelly did not want to hold back Gage and she really felt like she was going to. Now, one thing I wanna do with Nelly is she, in the last episode, we got her this job as a um, an actress or something like that, but I had a comment from Aussie Cast Plays, I'm pretty sure it was her, where she was like, you know, why not get her to just sing for, you know, a few hours each day? or you know throughout the whole day at the club and then just add money to the bank account and I think that's what I am going to do. Anyways, so I think I'm gonna have Nelly go to bed. It's 1.30 in the morning. She's been really struggling. She has a lot to do. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I had her quit her job and I'm just gonna get her uh, to sing a bunch at the club and then every day we'll pay her some money. I think to start off it would be a smaller wage. I think like for a basic job when you're starting off in this game, I think like one day of work they get what like 100 simoleons. So I think maybe 100 simoleons a day might be fair. Let me know though what you guys think is like a fair wage for Nelly. I think eventually she'll be getting tips and she might be, you know, having people who come to see her perform specifically. So um, I am curious to hear what you guys think would be a reasonable amount for her to be paid for during um, her work hours. Now it's really early in the morning. We have to get our um, serve scrambled. Everyone has to go bathroom, but there's only one toilet in this house. In complete typical Nelly fashion, she starts cooking for herself, even though she is paying rent to... Um, Eartha. She's like, let me help you out, Eartha. So Nelly is actually making a garden salad, so she's not actually helping anyone. This is the one purchase that I am willing to make that is not um, vintage because having this garbage that eats the plates is just so much easier than expecting your sims to not only clean up but also to take the garbage out especially in an apartment it's just not super realistic so i've just decided that they're gonna have this super fancy tech garbage because i ain't got time for this all right so ellie is ellie nelly is hungry her hygiene's pretty good but i am gonna have her take a quick shower because she isn't feeling great um, her social's a little low, but I feel like that's gonna go up pretty quick once she gets to work. So it's definitely a different group of people from what Nellie is used to being around. Like, it's a completely different environment for her to be in the city. I feel so bad for her. Um, but at the same time, it was her own decision, her own choice to be here, so it is what it is. And also, um, if we see here, her love bar with Gage is completely red, so it's very awkward very awkward they drive each other crazy but they also drive each other crazy so she still has feelings for him but it's just an awkward situation right now i think that gage initially took it so seriously right like he promised to marry her he gave her promise rings they exchanged so it's not crazy for him to have thought that um, and I think when Nelly accepted, she was definitely in that headspace. But like I said, things have changed with the war, her father dying, her mom getting pregnant. So it was just a lot for her. And I, I totally get it. it. It just made her feel like maybe something else, you know, maybe there's something else for her. You know, when she was younger, Nelly was, looked up to Emma so much. She was going to be everything that Emma was, you know, and she was going to be a writer. And then as she got older, she started to realize that her and Emma had different um, 
<clears throat> different paths like Emma wanted to be a writer and maybe travel the world whereas Nellie wanted a family and now that Nellie is older she doesn't know what she wants like she is just so confused about what she wants Ooh, she's practicing kissing she obviously wants something <laughs> Oh, that's cute. What we can do is we can have her work on some of her skills. She wants to be a super parent. I think for now that aspiration has changed for her. She did do ma music a little bit when she was younger. She's going to be singing. So I think we're going to change her to the musical genius um, aspiration first. And look, practice music for six hours. She's already done that. Listen to music for two hours. Aw, Charles wants to come see her while he's on his break. I think that is 100% fine. Okay, so there he is. So how about you come here? No, don't send him home. Come here and be friendly and ask about his career. Oh, what else can we do? Um, ask about day. So I think she's really happy. He's really tense. He's probably tense from coming back home. Um, he's probably also tense that Nellie just up and left without talking to mom So maybe he's kind of given it to her and she's explaining to him since dad died, you know, I needed a break So I think the two of them. Oh wow, Eartha That is oh she's doing a face mask. I thought she did a skeleton face So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have uh, more actions add to group and I'm gonna have the two of them go out to the movie theater together. So Nellie has brought uh, Charles to the movie theater here in town and a visit. So let's get the two of them to come inside with Charles. I want it to be the Roaring Vice, maybe. I want it to be something like that's considered. Uh, hey Nelly, it's Gage. Do you want to hang out tonight? No. That's harsh. Okay, mo watch movie with Charles. I want it to be the Clumsy Sisters. I think that's the only one that's vintage. I could be wrong, but... Anyways, so they're watching movie together and hopefully Charles will sit with her. There we go. So they're watching an old film. Well, it's new to them, old to us. <laughs> um, I actually used that for the intro of one of my decades. So back then at this time, they did have black and white movies that they could watch on projector screens. So he's gonna say, you know, I know that you're going through it. I understand. I also felt the same way when dad left for war that I would have to put my dreams on hold. I know that we both felt like we were kind of left behind as, you know, Emma moved on, Harry went to war. Because if you guys remember, it really was Charles and Nellie for a while. It was just the two of them because the ki other kids were younger. So they kind of just had each other, right? So I think she's a little upset that he's trying to like talk to her or like almost talk to her about it like she's not ready um but at the same time she understands where he's coming from so Charles is just gonna say you know what I support whatever you decide to do I'm not trying to judge you in any way I am a hundred percent behind you on this but you need to know that Emma's definitely gonna be showing up to talk to you about this because mom is a mess you know and I think Emma is really worried about you also. So just be prepared. You probably will have other visitors at some point. So I think Nellie is really grateful that Charles was so helpful. They just became best friends. So at least she has someone that, you know, is from back home that she can, um, consult with and you know kind of get you know still be close with someone from home so that's good they had a really nice visit she's listening to his concerns she is hearing him out and i think she appreciates that he came to visit her um but i am going to send charles home because i sent charles home and i have nelly here at the club because ertha has asked her to meet her here so she has a kind of 
dressed up a little bit more formal, a little bit more entertainer-like, um, and she is going to have all the girls come down. It is becoming evening now, so they get there a little bit early. That way um, they can practice their routines. So I'm gonna just have her come over here and freshen up and look at herself in the mirror. So uh, this is the change room, if you guys remember. I think I will upload this quickly to the gallery. That way you guys can use the club if you want. I think there is definitely CC in here, but not a lot. Like I know these lamps are and the piano. I'm like 90% sure that the rest of it, uh, maybe the flooring is too actually. The flooring might be CC. Okay, so I have shared that to the gallery. So you guys will be able to access the club if you are interested. So Nelly is just freshening up. Eartha has told her that she is going to be meeting the boss today. So she wants to, good, because she definitely wants to get hours. And even though she's grateful to her roommates and that they've all been here, she definitely wants to make sure that she's going to get the hours, right? So she needs to stand out. Although with the way some of these girls dress, I don't know if she's going to stand out very well. <laughs> Let's just... Uh, change that outfit there we go thank you for putting some clothes on we are so very grateful so Eartha is going to come upstairs with the boss and she's going to uh, visit with him and explain to him you know Nellie is new here oh she's taking the seat excuse me sir I'm trying to talk to you friendly so Earth is gonna tell her, oh, he's mad, he's being insulted, he's insulting her. He is not a nice man, but she's gonna say, listen, I got a new girl in my house. I know that she would be able to work for you. I'm really sorry if I just assumed you would hire her, but you know, I really think this is good. So we're gonna talk up another sim and we're gonna talk up Nelly to him. So he walked out on her, so she's just following him. So she's come out here to talk up Nelly to him and say, you know, she's a good singer. I think she's going to make this club a lot of money. And I think, wow, I'd love to get to know her. So she's told him, listen, you know, don't be a jerk. <laughs> um, so anyways, all the girls are singing and dancing. Let's get Eartha to come down here and start practicing. Oh, is he coming over to talk to Nelly right away? He is. He's complimenting us. Are you sure we are talking about the same person? Nelly wasn't so great. Ah, uh, okay. No, don't tell a gross stroke. Pause. Um, friendly. Ask about his day. Come on, Nelly. This is like your moment to uh impress the boss if you don't impress him he probably won't hire you so nelly's trying her best oh he doesn't like us this is a great way to start okay so now that she's talked to him a little bit more he's starting to like her oh good he's got the evil laugh so he's hot-headed and he's evil that's awesome Maybe if I do gossip, he'd like that. Yeah, it went green. Okay, so <laughs> that's good enough. Nelly, how about you come over here and practice singing? And I will get you to play the piano. So Nelly got the job. She was able to at least impress him enough. She's not a great singer but she's definitely gonna try and all the other girls are either performing with her or there to support her. Oh, look who's here, Marshall Mathis. Maybe he moved, he looks really sad. Maybe he moved to the city after the war. It appears to me that the boss man doesn't look too upset about everything going on. He seems to be okay with the arrangements. So I'm just going to get Nelly to sing for a few hours. That way um, we can pay her some money. 
Oh, look, she's getting tips anyways. So there we go. So maybe we'll give her like 75 simoleons plus tips. Yeah, even the boss tipped her. Like, here you go, kid, just to get started. So I think the boss is liking Nelly. He's happy that she's here and that she has been hired. But, um... He seems to be up to something when he's talking to Eartha. I think he's got bigger plans than Nelly thinks he has for her. And I think Eartha not necessarily was expecting it, but she might be okay with this plan. So, you know, I just don't trust this guy. That's all I'm going to say. I don't trust him at all. You know, he obviously doesn't run a great place. Knox works for him, for God's sake. I'm just kidding. Um... But Nellie's trying her best. She was able to sing for a few hours, so I think we will give them 70 simoleons in order to pay her for that. And her singing skill is starting to get up. So I think we're just going to send everybody home now. Okay, so the girls are all back home. We are going to get everyone to eat and go to sleep and then we will catch back up with them in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning and everyone is getting ready for their day. I'm just gonna have Nellie jump in the shower quick. So Nellie is going to, oh, she's already doing it. I'm having her sit down and I'm going to have her write a letter. So she's gonna write a letter back home to her mom to let her know that, you know, she's secured a job. She feels better talking to her mom now. Now that she has a job and she has a place that she's staying, she feels a little bit more on her feet. So she's just going, to message her mom and be like mom i'm home you know i found a place to live i'm doing okay you know i'm safe so she's gonna write that letter home to her mom and i think eartha is going to come over and she's gonna try to talk to nelly she's gonna explain to her that you know now that she has this job with what is the boss's name anyways robert we'll call him bobby um, now that she has this job with Bobby, like, she needs to take it seriously. Like, he's not a, a guy that puts up with, you know, people not showing up for work or, you know, not being responsible. And so, it's just very important that she stays on top of it and, um, doesn't do anything to upset him because he wouldn't be super forgiving of it. So, you know, now that you're one of his working gals, you're going to be his working girl. You're not going to be able to just, you know, get another job at another club. He wouldn't take that very good. So just keep that in mind that, you know, now that you work for this guy, this is what you're going to be doing. So Nellie, I don't think is taking it super threatening. I think she feels like, hey, you know, it's just like any job, like... Uh, I have to take it seriously. I need to be responsible. You know, she is super naive. She is from the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh. Gage. No, Gage. I don't. Um, she's like super naive about it. Whereas, you know, she doesn't realize that she's literally working for like a mob boss. She doesn't realize that he might not be the nicest man. She's not taking it that way at all. Um, and also, Eartha wants to tell her, you know, like, when girls live here, I do try to have them, um, max out. I do try to have them perfect a certain skill, like, a, a skill of their interest, just because I think that, um, it's very important for a young lady to have more than just one skill. So, let me know what you guys think we should do. Should we do painting? Should we do writing? We could do uh, chess. We could do, um, maybe she's a, a good photographer. I think photographer might be kind of cool. This was kind of the time when photography was kind of starting to become more and you get the big cameras. And there was actually one woman, I can't remember her name right now, but in this time frame, it might have been even early in the early 18 in the late 1800s I'm pretty sure I can't remember her name but when I was researching different decades I read about this woman who left like she never got married 
she didn't follow the regular norms of society and she became a photographer and she actually traveled all over the United States and Canada and got like really famous photographs that we still look today at today from back then um, and she was known as like the first female famous photographer I can't remember her name but it was a very interesting story so we could go down that route for her. So let me know what you guys think down below about what other qualities we might like for Nelly. And I think you guys, with all of that being said, I think we're gonna leave this part here. We were able to get, we, we was able, <laughs> we were able to get Nelly to work at the club. She was able to catch up with her brother. She met the boss and she also wrote home to mom to be like, hey, I'm safe, all is well, it's okay. So I think we're gonna leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and also leave your comments below. I love to hear from you guys. And I think with all that being said, I'm gonna say bye for now.